Welcome back to the Hollywood News Channel, where we update you with the latest news of the day. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Donald Trump's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame has been vandalized yet again, and the woman responsible was caught on camera committing the felony on Tuesday morning. Surveillance footage shows the moment the suspect walks up to it on the 6. The 800 block of Hollywood Boulevard in Los Angeles, California around 9.30 a.m. She then casually takes a can of what appears to be white spray paint out of her backpack and covers the president's name in the stuff. The crime is carried out in seconds and a few passerbys are even seen looking but they continue walking past the Hollywood and Highland Center in the footage obtained by TMZ. The Hollywood Historic Trust worked with Clean Streets to repair the star immediately. Trump's plaque has been targeted several times in the last number of years and the West Hollywood City Council voted unanimously for it to be removed in August but no action was taken. But the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, which administrates the Hollywood Walk of Fame, has no plans to change anything, telling DailyMail.com on Tuesday, we do not remove stars. As in the cases of past vandalism incidents involving POTUS, they urged people to vote instead of taking things out on the sidewalk plaque, which was originally installed in 2007 to commend his work for the Miss Universe pageant. The Hollywood Walk of Fame is an institution celebrating the positive contributions of the inductees, President and CEO of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, Rana Gadban, said. When people are unhappy with one of our honorees, we would hope that they would project their anger in more positive ways than to vandalize a California state landmark. Our democracy is based on respect for the law. People can make a difference by voting and not destroying public property. Gaban said that the chamber is working with the police in regards to this felony and intends to prosecute to the full extent of the law. She said this is something the Chamber would do for any Walk of Fame start it has been vandalized and noted the Chamber is aware that there is surveillance video of the vandal. It was last vandalized in April when a man covered Trump's star with a coat of black paint and wrote the words Putin's B in white paint over it. On December 20, a surveillance camera captured a man kneeling down next to Trump's star and pouring red paint all over it. It was reported that the vandal had been part of a protest set up by PETA's Los Angeles chapter at Forever 21, which is located next to the star. The paint was removed within an hour, less than one day after two swastikas were scrubbed off the star. Another man dressed in black was captured on TMZ's camera, drawing the swastikas around 9 a.m. earlier in December. In September 2018, street artist Plastic Jesus placed bars on top of the black to show that the infamous star is caged. The British and Los Angeles-based artist used instant drying industrial strength double-sided sticky tape to secure the bars. Plastic Jesus said he wanted the stunt to show that Trump should pay the price if he is guilty of colluding with Russia in 2016 presidential election. The artist tweeted his final work, artwork writing, Today I put Donald Trump behind bars. However, his art installation didn't last long as a Trump supporter damaged it. Although it was very quickly damaged by a Trump supporter trying to remove it, the bars did appear to be stuck fast and were there several hours later, to the amusement of thousands of passing tourists, Plastic Jesus added. In 2016, Plastic Jesus surrounded Trump's star with a 6-inch wall as a protest to Trump's call for a wall to be built on the US border with Mexico. His model was complete with barbed wire and a tiny American flag. In July 2018, Trump's star had to be completely replaced after a protester attacked it with a pick pickaxe, smashing it into pieces. Austin Clay, 24, pleaded no contest to felony vandalism last month after he was caught on camera raising the axe high above his head and smashing it into the star. Clay was sentenced to one day in county jail, three years of probation and 20 days of community labor. He was ordered to pay the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce $9,404 in damages for the star and another $800 in, in fines. Comedian and actor George Lopez caused a stir when footage of him appearing to urinate on Trump's star surfaced on social media. In the video, Lopez appeared to be in front of a small group of people with a bottle of water in his hand and poured water on the star. When Lopez ran out of water, he said, All right, let's go. 
Thank you so much for joining us and see you again next time. Bye. Thank you for watching the Hollywood News. Don't forget to like and share the updates to the latest information of the day.